Okay, here's a catcher, Matthew Chapman, ready? I can remember the very first time I, th I pitched Matt a wiffle ball, and both Lisa and I, and we have it on video, he hit, he hit the wiffle ball and he just crushed it into the other room of the house, and we both just kind of went, whoa. Matt drills one to center, going back on it, turning around to Zimmer at the track. He will watch it fly! I always looked up to my dad when I was a little kid, and to have him coach me, uh, it meant the world. I think that the things that I do still to this day and the, the way I play the game and how I go about it is I learned from him. I was very fortunate to have very good coaches um, that coached me. And I felt that it was important for me to give back and to, uh, to have Matt have that same experience. Matt and I would always have a, a talk after every game and kind of relive what happened throughout the game so that we could have learning moments and learn from, you know, whether it was a mistake or learn from a success. And just, we're con I was constantly teaching, you know, the fundamentals of the game. If you don't focus always on the, you know, the, the winning or the losing or the successes and the failures and you just focus on being prepared and showing up every day with the best you, you know, that lesson has taken me a long way. A good coach helps people further in life than they would ever think. You know, a lot of people, when I see friends today, you know, they're asking me how my dad's doing. So it goes to show that a coach can make a positive impact on people. And those, those kids are going to be successful in life, you know, no matter what they do because of those experiences and things that they've been through. Chapman, he makes a running catch over the Gatorade water coolers. Tremendous running catch and foul ground. I never anticipated him, you know, making major leagues. Um, it was just about learning the game the right way, learning how to treat other people, respecting other coaches, um, respecting your teammates. But, uh, you know, it ended up he has made the major leagues and it's, it's just been a thrill. The journey has been They've been incredible, and I'm um, looking forward to where we're headed next. You know, every little piece of your journey plays a part. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for a lot of things, but I definitely think that my dad played a major role in where I am today, and if it wasn't for him, I don't know where I would be. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Oakland A's, Matt Chapman. set me up. <laughs> also like to thank the A's for all the support. Hey, I believe in the new stadium. It's alright. <clears throat> I got faith. Well, first off, I'd like to thank Coaching Corps uh, for all that they've done and continue to do uh, for kids in the Bay Area and nationwide. Um, it's amazing to see how many lives that they've changed and what a positive impact that they've had on so many people. It truly is a wonderful cause, and I wish them nothing but continued success. <clears throat> I'd also like to thank the coaches who volunteer time out of their busy lives uh, to coach and mentor kids who may not have been given the same opportunity as most. Um, what you've done has made such a positive impact on many communities, and it does not go unnoticed. And it's because of you that many kids get to live their dreams like I did. I'd also like to say thank you for allowing my family and I <clears throat> the opportunity to be a part of such a special event. I know how hard it is to find a coach that can teach you how to play baseball the right way. And I know what's even harder is finding somebody that can mentor you to become a better person on and off the field. Throughout my career, I've been impacted by so many coaches, but the one coach who I think um, has made the biggest difference in my life would be my dad. My dad has been my favorite coach I've ever had, and I'm not being biased. Um, <laughs> I can promise you, no matter how many of my teammates or coaches you ask, uh, he didn't treat me different. I can't tell you how many times my dad said, if you don't stop crying, I'm going to take you out of the game. <laughs> Every game. But I don't cry anymore. That made me almost cry, but I'll try not to cry, I promise. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, my dad was the best coach because of the values and leadership that he brought to every team that he coached. He taught the importance of hard work, preparation, and respect. I think these are all values that um, have carried me to where I am in my life today, and they're going to carry me through the future. Um, he always had a positive message, and he knew how to reach every kid. He earned every kid's respect by treating everybody equally, setting high goals, and <clears throat> being our biggest fan. 
Every one of my teammates looked up to him, including myself. And I know that because if you ask any of my old teammates or coaches or parents, anybody, they always ask me how my dad's doing. It seems like they don't even care about me. But, <laughs> but honestly, my, da my dad's a great person, and I, I learned a lot how to treat people just by watching how he treated people, whether it was you know, my sister, my mom, other uh, coaches, players. So um, he's somebody, he treated everybody with respect. He's somebody that uh, I've always looked up to. And, <clears throat> you know, I could sit here and say nice things all day, but I just want to say thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be myself and always believing in me when I didn't even believe in myself. And I don't know where I'd be without you. Thanks, Dad. Talk about a setup, woo! <laughs> Video and then to hear your son talk like that. <laughs> First of all, uh, I'd like to thank Matt, thank you. It's truly an honor and a privilege to be here tonight accepting the award. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, Coaching Corps for putting on this evening and for everything they do. I think Matt did a good job in uh, explaining what they do. I think they're a terrific organization. Um, I'd also like to thank my wife, Lisa, of 27 years. Um, this wouldn't be possible without her. Uh, I started coaching Matt when he was eight years old, and I coached him up until high school when he was 14. And uh, we went to several practices, um, of course, games, tournaments, traveled across the country. And uh, Lisa supported me along the way because I had to take time out from work to, uh, to actually go coach these teams and have some fun. So I love you. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, so I started coaching Matt in, uh, in AA Little League when he was eight years old. And I was assistant coach on that team. And I realized uh, really quickly how competitive uh, Little League was going to be. And so from that point on, I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and manage just so I can um, ensure that Matt's going to be uh, coached the right way, learn the game the right way. I was fortunate uh, when I, I played all the way up through college, and I was very fortunate. I could still remember the names of my little league coaches and how they treated me. And, uh, you know, they were good uh, mentors, and I learned a lot of lessons. It, they truly cared about um, not only about me, but about our family. And uh, I wanted Matt to have you know, similar experiences. Uh, we knew early on, as you saw in the video with the wiffle ball, that he had a passion for the game. And I wanted that passion to continue. So, but uh, Matt just wasn't, you know, he wasn't the only player on the team. Uh, we had uh, 12 or 13 other players that we were coaching. And uh, I wanted them to have the same experience as well. Um, so yeah, I managed Matt up until high school, and, uh, and then I had to uh, watch Matt play from the other side of the fence, which uh, all you dads out there who's ever coached, um, that's a learning experience all of itself. Not being able to coach your son anymore, and you want to, but you also don't want to uh, you know, cross any boundaries. So Matt was always very respectful of, of all of his coaches. Um, one thing about sports and baseball, uh, baseball and sports in general, is there's so many life lessons that can be taught through the game. You know, how to handle adversity, uh, how to make adjustments throughout the game, um, and, uh, and working together as a team. We always thought that was really, really important, to be a good teammate. Um, I never cared about the results so much. What I cared about was effort. I told Matt and the rest of the team, always focus on what you can control. Don't focus on the things out of your control. And that, I think that holds true today. As long as you're prepared, you prepared the right way, and you give 110% effort, I'm OK with whatever the result is. Uh, that's the way I coached, and, um, and I, think, I think that's a great way to do it. I also think, in, uh, and we saw it in videos tonight in, in the first presentation, that relationships are huge. Uh, me and the, the coaches that I surrounded myself with, uh, which were great as well, we always had uh, individual relationships with, with all of these players. And I think 
you know, like I said, we, the, the focus was never strictly on winning, but I think winning was a result of the relationships we created and that every player knew they had a role to play on the team. Everybody felt important. You know, in Little League, you probably have three or four kids that are really controlling, you know, how the game goes. But I would tell you, it's the other players that we connected with that made the big difference. I would say more than any compliment that Lisa and I have ever received on Matt, uh, a lot of people say, oh, he's a great player, you know, congratulations. It's all the people we meet and, and even today that just say, um, you got a great kid. And uh, so that's what's important. So thank you. Have a good night. I love you.